This video shows you how you can set a password on your account in Windows 11. If you're watching this as a short, tap the link below to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, if you want to protect your Windows system with a password, then this guide is going to show you how you can do that. So most Windows 11 installations will probably already have a password because quite honestly, when you set it up, it probably asks you to sign in with a Windows account, which gave you a password anyway. This guide is really for people that have signed in with a local account, but perhaps just want to give a little bit of extra protection. I mean, there are ways around this password, but for the occasional chance of this is going to stop anyone from logging in. This is handy if you've perhaps got children and you perhaps don't want them logging into your computer or if you're using a, a personal computer at work for instance and you leave it on your desk while you go out for lunch or something like that and you don't want somebody to be able to go in there and look at all your personal emails social media and files so all you need to do is just click on the start button at the bottom of the screen that's this blue button here the four blue squares at the bottom of the screen once you've clicked that, the start menu should appear. Then you want to go across to settings just up there. Left click settings. And then after a few seconds, the settings window or system window should appear. And then what you want to do is you want to just click in find a setting just on the left there. OK, once you've done that, type the word password. OK, P A W S. -S W O R D. And then hopefully after a few seconds, you should see there sign in options should appear. Move your mouse over sign in options, left click once. Then on the right hand side, you should see the sign in options section. What you want to do is you want to move your mouse over password just there. Left click once on password, and then you should get this option appear beneath it, which says, use a password to sign into Windows apps and services. Move your mouse over add, left click once, and here we go. So it asks us to create a password. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in a password. Let's just do that now. And once you've typed it in, you need to click into confirm password and type it again. This just makes sure that you don't make any spelling mistakes. You can just click on the I just there. If you want to check what you've written, click and hold it and that will come up. And then in the password hint box there, you just want to type a hint, something that if you was ever to forget the password, type a word or a phrase or anything you like in there, just to sort of give you that, that nudge so that you can remember what the password was. So I'm just going to type the password that begins with a Z. And there you go. That will give me a hint to remember the password if ever I've forgotten it. So then we just click next just down the bottom of the screen there. And it says here, next time you sign in, use your new password. So just move your mouse over finish, left click once and there you go. It says changing your password. So let's just test it out, shall we? So click on the start button at the bottom of the screen, click on your name just on the left hand side of the start menu, and then just click sign out. OK, now this will sign us out and it should take us to a login screen, hopefully. So there you go. As you can see, it says signing out. There we go. We're back to this nice, pretty picture screen. Now, all you need to do here is either press a key on the keyboard or the enter key on the keyboard or click a mouse button and it'll come up asking for the password. So let's just type in that password. I've just typed it in, pressed enter or return on the keyboard. And there we go, it says welcome. So that's a good indication that the password we've typed in is the correct one. And there we are, it's now logged into Windows. So what if you just wanna lock your computer? Say if you're just stepping away from the computer for a few minutes, but there's somebody hanging around it, you think, oh, I don't really want them getting into my computer, but then I don't wanna to have to shut everything down off of the screen. I just want to password protect it just for a few minutes, just while I, I nip to the loo or go and make myself a tea or a coffee. So this is all you need to do is click on the start button just down there, okay? And then click on your name or the head and shoulders or the picture there. And then 
just click on lock. OK, and that will then lock it and it will bring it back to the screen with a date and time on it. And then if you want to unlock it, just press a key on the keyboard or click a mouse button. OK, and then just type your password again. Let's just do that and then press enter or return or click on the little arrow just there. And there we go. We can pick up where we left off. Now, what if you're thinking to yourself, I don't need a password anymore and get rid of it. So all you need to do is just click on the start button in the bottom part of the screen, go across to settings, left click once. And then once the settings menu comes up, click in to find a setting on the top left hand corner and just type the word password. And then hopefully after a few seconds, sign in options should appear. Move your mouse over sign in options, left click once. And then on the right, you should see password just down there. Left click password. And there we go. It says there you're all set up. But there on the right there, there should be a box that says change. Move your mouse over change, left click once. And then it asks for the current password. So let's just type that in. That's the password you normally log in with and then click next. And you can either change your password here or if you want to get rid of the password entirely, then just leave all of these boxes blank. OK, just click on next and then click on finished. And then hopefully you shouldn't have a password. Let's test that out. Let's click on the start button there. Click on my name. Click on sign out. OK, and we'll sign back in again and just see if it asks for a password. So let's just press a key or or click a mouse button and then just click sign in. There you go, didn't ask for a password, so that's been removed. So there you go, that guide showed you how to set a password in Windows 11, lock your computer and then remove that password. I hope you liked this video and if you did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos on my YouTube channel covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money. Windows 11 is forever evolving with all its latest updates. So don't forget, whack that subscribe button so that you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and my website at CWTech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.